Hello there everybody and welcome back to Farm Function Plays Hollow Knight. So uh, this episode right here is going to be uh, a little bit of a catch up episode because we have a new movement ability from last time that I really need to get going and you know uncover some of the stuff that I uh, have now open to me. But I forgot to properly introduce this so I'm sort of doing this uh, you know, after the fact, <laughs> but I needed to, um, address the new, Ooh, careful, careful. <laughs> all the spoilers, I need to address the new, uh, the new charm that I sort of read incorrectly last time, so basically what I thought was happening with it is that I would get so, um, passively, over time, which would have been nice for the platforming that I suck horribly at, but uh, it still helps with the platforming, in fact. Um, it makes it so that healing is very, very slow, like twice the time, but see, it refills your health for two, which uh, basically just means you, could, you get a doubled health bar for opportunities like the platforming where um, the time spent on healing doesn't really matter. So that's still cool, but <sighs> having like a baby mode for the platforming would have helped me out so much, but whatever. I guess I'll take what I can get. This compromise is pretty good. So without further ado, uh, here's what I've been able to find going through the world of Hollow Knight with the new Crystal Heart ability. All right, so I've actually been here once before and decided not to keep the footage. You'll see the chest up there. I don't know actually what I got from it, <laughs> but the jet engine makes this so much better. Yeah. I should have gotten this ages ago. Of course, eh. <laughs> it won't let us do it. Uh, won't let us cheese everything. So this is the way back, I think, yeah. Just one more, yeah, there's nothing here, okay. But I, I got, I'm still stuck. Though once our lands, a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share our dream. Be wary to wander that place. So, I guess I'm incorrect. I thought maybe now we would be able to do something here. But apparently there's still more to find. Because we cannot cut this vine from here. Okay. Off to the next one. Right, so this has to be crystal heartable. There we go. And the music's getting us pumped up again. Hopefully I can, uh... oh no. <laughs> well, and that's why we have this new trinket. Except maybe I should have come here with a little more soul. Well, we'll see. <laughs> why must there be spikes on top of it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just killed that thing. So that's great. It's great news. <laughs> Man. I'll have to come back with more soul. Yeah, no getting around that. Okie dokie. Our spiky friend has respawned. We get to ride once more. On the wind. 
at some point <laughs> I'm gonna be able to make it never fear <laughs> Uh, see how determined I am? It's weird that, like, the backdraft of our jet engine actually hurts him. Ah! I get too nervous, okay? At least once you cling onto the wall. Hey! Okay. A little bit of a breather. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're too kind. <sighs> this is too good to be true. They wouldn't put the spiky boys here. If I could just crystal heart all across this and I killed one that makes things worse see I would have hurt myself on the spiky thing from the top thank you is that it please tell me that's it new area <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a rancid egg down here. What wonders does it hold for us, I wonder? Hey! It's a bench. So, no matter what happens in there, we won't have to go through all this again. You know, let's go in first. Wouldn't you know it, a nail master. A visitor. Why have you crept in here, little grub? Perhaps like me, you have a taste for discovering new things. I'm Shio. And in a previous life, I was a nail master. Yes, the only thing that drove me was becoming stronger and honing my skill with a nail. I imagined it was my only... No, I imagined it was my one calling in life, but that feeling faded over time. Now I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. That's why I spend my time here, secluded, trying to master the art of creation. Painting, sculpting, these things bring a different kind of pleasure. Sweet. Hmm. You don't seem very moved by what I've said. Was it Shio the nail master you were looking for? Did you come to learn a nail art? I'll teach you if you insist. Of course. <laughs> nice. That looks awesome. Great slash. Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button without holding up or down. Perform, perform the Great Slash. So, my work, does it move you? The wielding of a nail, the wielding of a brush, these things are not so different. We cut into the world so that we can do, peer deeper inside. For now, though, I have nothing more to teach you. Your path forward, only you can see it. Good luck. Okay, guess there's, I don't know if there were three or if there were more. So you met my brother Oro and convinced him to teach you his nail art. Hmm, it's been a long time since I've seen him. I wonder how much he's changed. He always seemed to be haunted by something, though I never learned what. No matter the distance between us though, we are still brothers. I hope that passing down his teachings, his learnings to you, brought him some happiness. How oh, nice. That nail art you've learned, the cyclone slash, that was almost always Mato's favorite. Must have made him ecstatic to have a pupil like you. He's, 
always wanted to pass down what he'd learned to a new generation. He was not the most skilled pupil himself, but his enthusiasm and kindness set him apart. I'm glad he achieved what he desired so long to be a teacher. I have spare brushes and plenty of paints. Once you tire of the nail, feel free to join me in my art. Oh, nice. But he's got like a huge retirement fund. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know how he lives down here. Almost hit myself on the way down. So while we're still in Green Path, Lake of On is our next station. I'm gonna take a look inside just in case. All right. But this has to be crystal hardable. We saw that uh, knight back then standing and peering over the edge, but there's nothing. <laughs> it's just a wall. Great. Amazing. There's got to be more to this, though. All right. We are at the Howling Cliffs. And you know I had to try this. Absolutely. What? <laughs> no way. You can't crystal hard against the wind. That's bullshit. All right. So that's just a natural... Invisible wall, basically. Uh, fine. That's okay. Next up, we're in the Royal Waterways, and actually show you with crystals on the ground that you have to use crystal hard here. Boy, that's a long stretch. <laughs> I mean, the least you could say is if it's a mask or if it's just a skull, Hollow Knight is pretty resilient, all things considered. We just go further down. Might just be a shortcut. But who knows? I don't think I remember these uh, City of Tears guards down here, so that must be new. Ooh, there's a crack in a wall. What do you know? Always sounds like, like I just uh, caved in something, but nope. Um, hello? Eternal Emilithia. Oh, what a surprise. It's not often I receive visitors. I'm sick with the cold, you guys. <laughs> it's been so long, ages even. I just hope my manners haven't left me. You've no doubt sensed my affluence. Affluence? You're right to guess I'm renowned amongst the upper caste of ca Hollow Nest. Well, I was, once, until those cretins cast me out. Have you met them, my former fellows? That's them outside, their bodies shambling around all mandless and empty. I'm still alive to witness their pathetic demise. <laughs> wow. She is so aristocratic. Oh, I'm just so happy. Fate can be a wonderful thing. Holy crap. Isn't life wonderful? She's so happy about... Everybody else's complete and utter failure, but I can't get... No, we, we can get out. Wait a second. This is uh, one of those doors that we never opened. Never could open. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Even though there's nothing really I can do right now. There's another door right over here 
Apparently has a grotto in it, but we don't have a key yet. Oh well, uh, that's one mystery solved. Uh, let's check out the rest. So yet another one in the waterways, <laughs> conveniently marked. Oh, it goes through Ancient Basin? Is that it? Oh my god. I wonder if there's other hints like this that I just never realized were right in my face. By the way, really satisfying killing those guys in two hits now. And mm, there's another rancid egg there as well. I've only used one so far. <laughs> then right after I used it, oh, is that the? No, we must have killed the entire batch now. But after I used the rancid egg, I was sort of uh, like sad that I didn't record it, because the animation looked kind of cute. Only those who prove their honor in combat may enter the grove beyond. The defender. Down defender! Remember that guy? This is getting deep. Um, that's kind of pointless, but oh well. Bats being bats. There we go. I was thinking might as well heal up because we're at full soul anyway. Let's be accurate about it. Oh, okay. I was not expecting this, but fine. Oh my god, I'm so overpowered for this fight, you have no idea. I'm silver champion of the Coliseum of Fools. You wanna annoy me? I wanna put up a real fight. Come on. Isma's Grove. What in hollowness is going on? Isma's tear. Acid shall be repelled, swim in acidic waters without coming to any harm. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I should have done this a long time ago. Now we can just do this. I like it. And that uh, solves the mystery of some of the areas that I remember where... It seemed like I was able to, I should be able to go through, but I would be hurt in the acid. Neat. But it also means that we have way more stuff to collect than I was ready for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as expected. I don't know why there's so many of them though, like... You don't very often, get, you know, you're never really in a position where you have to get your soul back, no matter what, you know. Even if you use the, I said soul, uh, the geo. Even if you lose the geo, it's not a big deal. But oh well. Maybe there's more to it, I just don't know. Okay, we've been here. So... Okay, that's nothing. There was another path that we didn't go through, I think. Well, we could swim through the acid here now, but that's not what I meant. Maybe it was further up. This way, right? No, that's just... Hmm. 
the past to Emilithia. Is that how you pronounce it? Or Emilithia. I could sort of see both. Okay, go back to where we found Ismus Tear again. Oh yeah, this is just, okay. The two bats <laughs> hanging out. I want to see if there's nothing hiding where we found Ismus Tear. Just to make sure. But oh, that's just the, okay. The challenge area. Challenge in huge quotation marks. Oh, a grub. I'm wary of grubs by now, because you never know. Ah, and that's... Alright. So this is just a very, very small sub-area. And Isma is like a petrified tree or something? It seemed like I could make out um, a face in the bark. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I thought maybe I could cut the vines, but no. Cool beans. Yeah, we're uh, getting to the bottom of things. So while I'm in the neighborhood here, I was thinking uh, we have a little bit of a score to settle, don't you agree? <laughs> Lukemon, you may have been a scary foe once, but I'll put my reputation in Hollow Knight on the line that I'm very, very confident we'll do this first try. So the only... Like, I didn't do anything crazy with, um, with my charms. Basically, all we have is range. I don't want to give that away. We have extra damage on Vengeful Spirit. And I think getting more soul back by hitting enemies. I think that's it. I think that's a good enough setup because even though I just took a hit there. <laughs> we're killing the little ones. That was just dumb. We're killing the little ones in one hit. And that's all you need. That's what I said the last time, by the way. I think... Oh, nice. I think the last time we... Um, it took us like three hits to kill them. That was just too much. You get overwhelmed. And that's the only difficulty in this fight. It's a DPS race, more or less, but... See, that... <laughs> That's what you don't want to happen. But still, I think I don't even have to heal once. Although I don't know how big the health bar is of this guy, but... If I concentrate... See? You're goddamn right. <laughs> Fluke nest. What the hell is this? Do I even want that? Looks disgusting. Living charm born in the gut of a fluke worm transforms the vengeful spirit spell into a horde of volatile baby flukes. Great. What I've always wanted. <laughs> we gotta check it out though. Who knows, maybe it's great. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, the memories. I must have done this run 15 times or so before I was like, you know what? I'll wait till my character's better. Or till I have better charms at my disposal. Let's see here. 
It needs three pips. Disgusting. Let's see how it works against enemies. Eh. I think I'd rather have the vengeful spirit, but thanks anyway, Flukmorn. And thank you everyone for watching. We will continue next time with more paths related to acid.